the Western media has been talking about the delivery of a new weapon to Ukraine, the ground launch small diameter bomb. I had actually done a video about this in November 2022, and I talked about how this is not a capability that Ukraine will have that Russia doesn't already have in, in much greater quantities with much greater capabilities. I also talked about how despite this weapon being a combination of rockets and bombs the U.S. already has on hand, they have to be put together. And their ability to put these together limits the amount that will be available for Ukraine. I suspected that these had already made it into the hands of Ukrainian forces over the last couple of months. I could have sworn that I saw reports of Russia jamming and intercepting them. I'll go over that in just a moment. But for some reason, the Western media is trying to convince us that this, this weapon is just now finally reaching the battlefield. We have articles like this from Reuters. Ukraine's new 100-mile bomb from Boeing is ready, sources say. This is from January 30th, 2024. It says, after successful testing in the U.S., Ukraine will soon receive its first big batch of long-range missiles made by Boeing that promise to extend its range deep into Russian-held territory, according to sources familiar with the matter. Now they said the first big batch, which makes me think that they've already received these in smaller numbers. And, and now they're just going to get them in larger numbers. It'll all be clear in just a moment. They could arrive on the battlefield as soon as Wednesday, Politico reported. Uh, so this is just a, a couple of weeks ago. Ukraine needs Boeing's ground launch small diameter bombs to augment the limited number of 100 mile range army tactical missile rockets, the attackums the U.S. has sent. And we, we, we already see how these attackums achieved nothing. Uh, the HIMARS achieves very little. They are successful tactically, strategically. They have made no difference, as predicted. It also says the glide bomb will allow Ukraine's military to hit targets at twice the distance reachable by the rockets it now fires from the U.S.-supplied high-mobility artillery rocket system, HIMARS, and could force Russia to move supplies even further from the front lines. Yet this is already this whole myth that HIMARS was disrupting Russian logistics. That is a myth. That that never happened. That didn't even happen in Kherson City when Russia had only a single route for its logistics across the Dnieper River. HIMARS was attacking this bridge and yet Russia was still able to maintain an, uh, logistics to its troops in Kherson City and around Kherson City. They fought a very successful defense against the Ukrainian offensive and only a decision by uh, senior Russian leadership to just abandon Kherson City uh, they, did they withdraw across the Dnieper River. Otherwise, they, they, they were out fighting Ukrainians. And that was despite using HIMARS to supposedly disrupt logistics to those forces fighting Ukrainians. And I've gone over the articles in the Western media describing the fighting between Russia and Ukraine around Kherson City and how utterly uh, outmatched Ukraine was. Reuters also says the plan was for launchers and dozens of warheads to move to Ukraine via an air transport. The person familiar with the test and one of the people briefed said the timing of the delivery and their ultimate deployment has been secret to preserve the element of surprise. A Pentagon spokesperson declined to comment. Well, now it sounds like they're sending munitions and also additional launchers. And I have been hearing in recent weeks, reports that HIMARS launchers have been found and destroyed, at least one or two. The article also says the new glide bombs, while not as powerful, are much cheaper, smaller, and easier to deploy than attack them, making them well-suited for much of what Ukraine hopes to accomplish, disrupting Russian operations and creating a tactical advantage. It's, this, will not, this will never happen. They have nowhere near enough HIMARS launchers, and they will never have enough of these 
ground launch small diameter bombs to do that. They will have local tactical success in terms of targeting and destroying Russian manpower and equipment, but they will never be able to do it in a way that, that gives them even a local strategic advantage, let alone an overall strategic advantage. And this is just a continuation of all of the problems Ukraine has had all throughout this conflict. If Storm Shadow and Scalp air launch cruise missiles, Attackums, HIMARS, if all of those failed to change the situation on the ground strategically in favor of Ukraine, why is this additional munition available in small amounts? How is this going to tip the balance in Ukraine's favor? When this was uh, first announced back in November 2022, also by Reuters, in this article, as a matter of fact, exclusive U.S. ways sending 100-mile strike weapon to Ukraine. 100 miles is about 160 kilometers, by the way. Uh, this is what they admitted in the article. It says, the M26 rocket motor is relatively abundant, and the GBU-39 costs about $40,000 each, making the completed ground launch small diameter bomb inexpensive, inexpensive and its main components readily available. Although arms manufacturers are struggling with demand, those factors make it possible to yield weapons by early 2023, albeit at a low rate of production. The guided rockets for HIMARS are almost certainly being made in larger quantities than, than this longer range glide bomb fired by HIMARS. And altogether, all of these long range precision guided weapons, including GPS guided artillery shells transferred over to Ukraine, the Excalibur, all of these are facing problems on the battlefield beyond the fact that there's just too few of them to make any difference. So let's, let's go over the wide range of problems. All of these long range capabilities have and the potential almost almost certain to be problems the ground launch small diameter bomb will have when it reaches the battlefield if it hasn't already been suffering from this problem for months. This is an article from CNN. Russia's jamming of US provided rocket systems complicates Ukraine's war effort. This was from May, 2023. It says Russia has been thwarting US made mobile rocket systems in Ukraine more frequently in recent months using electronic jammers to throw off its GPS guided targeting system to cause rockets to miss their targets. Multiple people briefed on the matter told CNN. And while the ground launch small diameter bomb is a GPS guided munition that just has a longer range. So if uh, jamming works on GPS guided rockets for high Mars, it's also going to work on this glide bomb. But just in case you, you want, you're tempted to assume that, well, this is a glide bomb, so it's different and maybe it, it won't be jammed. Well, here's an article from Business Insider, this is from August 2023. Russia is jamming sophisticated US weapons being used in Ukraine, making them useless, report says. This is uh, Brian Clark, a senior fellow at Hudson Institute, a US think tank, told the BBC that Russian technologies were able to jam missiles, GPS coordinates, disable Ukrainian drones, and suppress Russian radar signals that were used by Ukraine to identify targets to attack. One such system, the R330ZH Zytel, is able to suppress satellite signals. Zytel can jam a GPS signal within 30 kilometers of the jammer, Clark said. For weapons like JDAM bombs, which use just a GPS receiver to guide it to the target, that's sufficient to lose its geolocation and go off target. It's not the first time concerns have been raised about the effectiveness of joint direct attack munition or JDAMs in Ukraine with the UK think tank, the Royal United Service Institute in January citing leaked US documents in which officials expressed concern that Russia was jam jamming JDAM GPS coordinates. The JDAM is sort of a glide bomb. It would work very similar in principle to this ground launched small diameter bomb. It's gliding to the target, guided by GPS. These jammers uh, obstruct the signal, it's, it goes off target. And that's what's going to happen to these small, small diameter bombs. There's also this article right here. 
This is from Reuters. Russia says it intercepted GLSDB or ground launch small diameter bomb, smart bomb in Ukraine for first time. This is March, 2023. So going back to that first Reuters article, they said this is the first big batch. Apparently smaller batches of these have been provided to Ukraine and Russia has already figured out how to jam and intercept them. The article says Russia said it had shot down a US supplied ground launch small diameter bomb, the guided smart bomb fired by Ukrainian forces. The first time Moscow has claimed to have intercepted one of the weapons that could double Ukraine's battlefield firing range. Ukraine had long sought the weapons to hit Russian command centers, supply lines, and other targets deep behind the front line. Washington is thought to have begun supplying them this year. That, so that was 2023. I'm almost certain they did begin supplying them, at least small numbers of them. We have not heard anything about them because they are not game changers. Just like everything else, they're not game changers. They would have to be available in much greater numbers. The launchers firing them would have to exist in much greater numbers. They will never exist in much greater numbers because the Western military industrial base is incapable of producing them in greater numbers. Ukraine using this ground launch small diameter bomb will undoubtedly have some success in hitting Russian targets. And, and they will have videos of it and they will say, see, it is a game changer, just like they've done with HIMARS and, and the Storm Shadow and Attackums. But in reality, they will never be capable of destroying Russian manpower and equipment faster than Russia can, can not only replace it, but continuously expand the, the production and placement of it on the battlefield. This new munition not only will not be available in quantities large enough to, to match or exceed uh, similar weapon systems Russia has. Russia has a, a much wider variety of weapon systems of similar or greater capabilities. The Tornado S multiple launch rocket system is the Russian equivalent to the HIMARS, but it, it, it has a range much further than the standard guided HIMARS rocket. It has a range of about 120 kilometers. This longer range a uh, ground launch small diameter bomb has a range of 160 kilometers. So the, the Tornado S alone is just short of this new munition. You also have to remember that Russia has the Iskander uh, ballistic missile launcher. This has a range of 500 kilometers, far further than the ground launch small diameter bomb. And then remember that Russia has significant amounts of military aviation capable of dropping actual glide bombs uh, all along the line of contact. And these are glide bombs by far much more destructive than these small diameter glide bombs that are launched by HIMARS. So these are all things to keep in mind. Uh, the Western media announces these new weapon transfers to Ukraine. It's, it's meant to raise morale but at closer inspection, it's very clear that it will make absolutely no difference at all. And that's according to even the Western media itself, who's, who's trying to convince us that this is significant when they've already extensively admitted it is not. We'll keep an eye on developments nonetheless. We'll try to keep track of any instances involving these ground launch small diameter bombs and, and other long range systems used by both Ukraine and Russia. And until then, if you thought this video was useful, please like and share. Think about subscribing. It's free to do. It helps the channel grow. Check the video description below for other places you can find and follow my work. I highly suggest you follow me on Telegram. I post absolutely everything there including things I'm worried I'm not allowed to post on other platforms. I also put backups of all my videos on Telegram. Also in the video description below are all of the links that I reference in this video. If you do not believe me that, that Reuters and Business Insider and CNN already admitted that, that Russia has ways of, of dealing with this new weapon system, see for yourself. Also in the video description are ways you can help support my work. I do not monetize my YouTube channel or any of my other social media platforms. If you do want to support my work, please do so through Buy Me A Coffee and also Patreon. To everyone who has been helping support my work, 
I greatly appreciate that. That is what makes this all possible, whether it's a one-time donation, donations month to month, or even if you're just helping share my work with others and just getting the word out there, getting this information out to people. I greatly appreciate all of that. Thank you. And as always, thank you for watching.